Niles Bohr was a Danish Nobel Prize winning physicist and humanitarian whose revolutionary theories made fundamental contributions to understanding the atomic structure. Niles Bohr was born on October 7, 1885 in Copenhagen, Denmark to Ellen Adler and Christian Bohr. His father was an eminent physiologist and was largely responsible for awakening his interest in physics while still at school. While his mother came from a family distinguished in the field of education. In 1903, Bohr enrolled as an undergraduate at Copenhagen University. During the fall of the same year, Bohr traveled to Cambridge, England, where he was able to follow the Cavendish Laboratory work of scientist J.J. Thompson, a British physicist that discovered the electron in a series of experiments designed to study the nature of electric discharge. He also studied astronomy and mathematics, and then in 1911, Bohr gained his master's and doctorate in physics. In 1912, the following year, Bohr wed Margaret Norland. They would have six children, four survived to adulthood, and one, age, would become a well-known physics scientist as well. In 1913, on the basis of Ernest Rutherford's theories, a New Zealand physicist who came to be known as the father of nuclear physics, Bohr developed and published his model of atomic structure, known as the Bohr model. This depicts the atom as a small, positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons that travel in circular orbits around the nucleus. Similar in structure to the solar system, but with electromagnetic forces using attraction rather than gravity. This model of Bohr's idea of the atomic structure shows how it works. The nucleus lies in the center of the model and is made up of a certain number of protons and neutrons. Each of the outer layers is made up of a certain amount of electrons. The limit to how many electrons can be in each electron shell is shown in the model. This model helps not only with the theoretical appearance of an atom, but also how different elements combine. In addition, he proposed that an electron could drop from a higher energy orbit to a lower one, emitting a photon of discrete energy in the process, which became part of the basis for quantum theory. It was largely for this early work that Bohr was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. Though Bohr's discovery would eventually be tweaked by other scientists, his ideas formed the basis of future atomic research. During the late 1930s, Bohr went on to work with a group of scientists who were doing research on nuclear fission, and he contributed the liquid droplet theory. According to the model, the neutrons and protons behave like the molecules in a drop of liquid. If given sufficient extra energy, the spherical nucleus may be distorted into a dumbbell shape and then split into two equal fragments, releasing energy. With Adolf Hitler's rise in power in 1933, Bohr was able to offer German-Jewish physicists refuge at his institution in Copenhagen. Once Denmark became occupied by Nazi forces, the Bohr family escaped to Sweden, with Bohr and his son Age eventually making their way to the United States. After the end of the war, Bohr returned to Europe and continued to call for peaceful applications of atomic energy. He helped to establish CERN, a European-based particle physics research facility in 1954, and put together the Atoms for Peace Conference of 1955. In 1957, Bohr received the Atoms for Peace Award for his trailblazing theories and efforts to use atomic energy responsibly. 
Moore was a prolific writer with more than 100 publications to his name. After having a stroke, he died on November 18, 1962 in Copenhagen.